little floater before now. But Barnes might be favourite. Now is the Kiev wall lined up properly? Houghton's in that one. Barnes floating it in! Good handling by Viktor Charnov. Well, he showed them the, the big side there, didn't he? He stayed to one side of his goal, showed Barnes that side, but certainly got across quickly enough. Now a chance for Kiev. Besanov in there. Belanov in there with him too. Nichols' header was important. Vasily Rats now catching it on the volley. And Grobola twisting in midair. Grabbed it and saved it on the line. A real big threat there from uh, Dynamo Kiev from uh, their three most experienced players. And eventually it came to Rats. Well, Moscow Spartak. Here's Barnes. Comes for Houghton. Rush is still waiting in the middle. It'll be too high for him and for the crossbar. It's a goal kick to uh, Dynamo Kiev. Still nil-nil. through the whole key of defense. The little chip, though, just couldn't be shut off. Here's Houghton. On the far side is Barnes. Played back for McMahon. Only half drove that one. It might come for Houghton. It might come for Beardsley. Good spell of pressure. This for Liverpool. Good work, too, by Charnoff. Dragged his right foot over the ball and then let fly Peter Beardsley. That might just have crept in. There's the little drag over the ball, left foot. Good work by the keeper again. Can hold the ball up and he does a lot of good work. Now Beardsley can help and get to this one. Good looking strike there by Liverpool. Well, for once there was a bit of pace, a bit of space rather than. Liverpool's corner, touched on by Barnes. A whistle from Neil Midgley. Whether he's pointed to the penalty spot there for some shirt pulling, I fancy he's I'm given sure Liverpool he... a penalty. He's and it could be for some shirt pulling. Sorry, Ian? I think he has, you know. <laughs> well, there was a smile of irony from Charnoff, who holds his head and can't believe it, but the penalty's been given for all that. Now let's see what he can do with this spot kick for Liverpool. Barnes against Charnoff. As true as you like. 16 minutes into the second half, and John Barnes puts Liverpool into the lead. Never look. Jan Bold here be on in a moment for Liverpool, but in the moment it's uh, McMahon who's making the break for them. Bond pass, Kuznetsov. Bond pass to Dovchenko, and a terrific shot. Superbly saved by Chanov. That was vintage McMahon. And there was a touch of Barnes at the start of it as well, by the way he went past two defenders. With Whelan and McMahon and Barnes behind this free kick. It's McMahon who drives it. And again, the acrobatic Chanov is equal to it. In all this coming and going, Look at that great save again by Charnoff. Paul, let's see if we can find anything from this corner. It looks like a push there on the number nine, Ian Rush, by the number ten, Lutzny. That can be the only reason. Well, in the meantime, here's Ray Houghton. The little chip by him. Aldridge is there! That's two. Within two minutes of coming on as a substitute, the man who scored 31 goals last season gets back into that same old fabulous Liverpool habit. A lovely dinked cross here by Ray Houghton. Inch perfect for John Aldridge. And Liverpool gets some breathing space with a two-goal lead. 
threw Belanoff up in there, and Besanov joined the attack as well. Here's Belanoff. Here's Besanov. Lidovchenko! Great save! That was struck with real venom there by Lidovchenko. And uh, Grobola was more than equal to it. Some lovely skill here by the Kiev team to set up the chance. And Corner for Kiev. Plenty of white shirts in there, looking to make something of it. It came off the post. Grobola missed it. Belanov was uh, in there, and I think it may well have been a Belanov header. Yeah, off... Uh... Jan Moby can really bang the ball. It's Barnes, though. Shut off again. On target, though. Yeah. Now, Mary Benison. Rush, a little touch this time. Barnes played on again for Ian Rush. Onto the left foot, on target. That was more like Liverpool. They had a, at least a dozen passes there and finishing with a shot by Ian Rush. So Liverpool are, are beginning to settle more into the game now. And here's Gorley. That's... Uh... Ah. Just quickening the pace now. Barnes alongside him. Barnes, a lovely ball back for Ray Houghton. Aldridge with the possibility. If they can just hold on for a few more seconds. Well, they've done it. That's the final whistle. Neil Midgley giving that dramatic and controversial penalty 16 minutes into the second half. And uh, John Barnes converting it to give Liverpool the lead. And then John Aldridge within two minutes of coming on as a substitute, making sure for Liverpool with that header. And it's all set up now for a final tomorrow afternoon, Liverpool against Arsenal. And I'm really looking forward to that one. Remember, we can bring that to you live on 